Hey, hey everyone, it's Rudy T back with part two of the big community garage sale. This is the fishing stuff I picked up uh, this weekend or this past weekend. Um, I haven't done a fishing video in a very long time. Um, I, do, I do still uh, go out and look for fishing stuff to not only add to the collection but to resell. Um, and uh, so this, this purchase here was phenomenal and uh, I, I have not found one like this in a very long time. So as I stated in our last video, um, it was a community garage sale, uh, 50 to 60 houses involved and uh, this was, I don't know, probably midway through the day and um, my wife had stopped and was buying some stuff and she said, hey, they have some fishing rods up, up here. So um, I went over to that garage sale was looking at the fishing rods and the guy was like 10 bucks for all the fishing rods and I was like what and uh, so I went over to the fishing rods and there was bits and pieces and parts and you know um, he said you know 10 bucks you know maybe you can make you one out of all of it I just want to get rid of it and there was some reels on them um, none that I ended up purchasing but uh, you know I passed on it and I said I did ask him, you know, after looking around some more, I said, do you have anything else as far as fishing? And he said, I just have some old, old reels that are in this uh, plastic bag um, if you want to take a look at them. And, uh, you know, I, I said, yeah, absolutely. So he went into his garage and brought them out. And by this time, there was two or three people, um, like, standing around next to me because they heard me talking about fishing. He brought out the plastic bag and handed to me and he said uh, you know if you want them uh, you know all of these you know I I'll do seven bucks and I was like okay so I untied the bag and I opened it up and uh, the other two guys kind of tried to look in I looked in real quick and I said done seven bucks I didn't take anything out at that time I just said I looked in I saw what you know the some of these and I said done seven bucks and uh, it turned out to be phenomenal. And uh, so let's break let's break it down. Go through some of these. Um, I hope you uh, enjoy this video, and um, you know I hope you enjoy fishing and uh, find this interesting. So the first uh, first reel I got uh, was this Fluger fly reel. It's a uh, Metalast. Made here in the United States, number 1494, right here. Okay, um, it has a it it has some wear and wear and tear on it for sure. Um, definitely been used, um, but uh, all all you know all functions. It all functions well. All functions normal, and um, you know the seat is still good. Um, the handles you know works properly. So um, I think you know this is a good you good using uh, fly reel. Uh, I don't fly fish, but um, definitely something I know my brother does. I know a couple other people do. So definitely something maybe I'll see if they're interested in it, and uh, I'll show you what came along with this here in just a second when we get through these reels. Um, but yeah, nice uh, nice fly reel. The next reel is a uh, kind of a parts real I think uh, it's a Langley uh, model 323 anybody see that right there um, and uh, yeah it's just gonna be for parts you know I I don't even know what you know year to put this on but it's a uh, level wine uh, I'd probably say 3000 series uh, let's see what it says here made in USA patent pending so um, but overall you know it's uh, it's in nice shape for for uh, what it is and uh, you know we'll see I'll, I'll I'll see if anybody's interested in these parts um, for this reel who knows there may be a collector out there that's looking for something like this so yeah nice all right then we got well let me go into one more so we got this pen look at this thing so this is uh, a pen trolling reel it is a level wind oh, I'm sorry non level wind and it's a pen number 60 Long Beach and it is in super duper condition look at this thing 
um, I mean it it still functions very well quiet um, yep everything functions so uh, a nice nice find this reel would be used for uh, for trolling so that's its main purpose I believe if I'm incorrect somebody please correct me but uh, I mean look at this original handle the drag is still good the drag is tight uh, no rust or corrosion um, so this was never put into the salt water that I can tell um, so yeah super nice reel I haven't had one of these in a very long time but uh, pretty cool find alright now these next four reels are from my favorite company my favorite reel company um, they're uh, Mitchell Garcia reels and I have three of these here and these are uh, Mitchell 300 okay and uh, I mean again look at these reels they operate and function well do they need some cleaning yeah they need some cleaning um, they were in a plastic bag stored in his garage I don't know for how long or where um, there's a little funk on them but not much super clean as far as you know for what they where they were everything seems to work correctly um, made in France there you go right there made in France um, just a very nice vintage reel I believe these are 60s 1960s uh, I'll look them up and uh, as always I'll put a little description out here on the screen but um, yeah super nice super nice reel you know maybe I'll do a video and use one of these and the stripers are running out here where I'm at and see if I can go get a striper with one of these bad boys but yeah very cool got another one here um, this one's a Mitchell 300 but it has uh, right here I don't know if I can get it it's got the Garcia right there etched into it so different different time frame than this one um, but the same model so um, but you know great condition this one has line on it um, don't know how old it is but it looks like uh, you know it can't be that old this this tape that they have on here looks fairly new um, so maybe this was used recently again uh, made in France right there another just very very nice looking um, spinning reel so there you go that's number two and then number three here same thing Mitchell 300 no Garcia um, but again just I mean there's got some smudges on it it's got some some little sticky stuff on there um, made in France no line but functions look at this thing this one makes a little noise so this one tells me you know there's some cleaning that probably needs to be done in here don't know how long they've been sitting um, or you know when they were cleaned last so um, definitely gonna need to open these up and take a look at them but I mean these things could be definitely collectors items definitely you know displayed in a uh, in a case once they're cleaned up these are these are nice pieces of little history um, yeah they don't make these like this anymore so cool cool reels I mean I cannot believe that I got them for seven dollars um, and he didn't even it didn't seem like he even you know wanted to discuss it or even cared about them so uh, I was super stoked to take these off his hands then the uh, last spinning reel here I got is a larger one this is uh, Garcia Mitchell and I believe this is the 400 series or 402 I'm sorry this is a 402 and this one says salt water on it so um, it looks a little bit like it may have been in some salt water it's got some missing paint probably from corrosion uh, you know up here on the on the seat as well and up here on the housing you know there's some there's some paint missing but 
it works great look at this very quiet super quiet so whoever had these reels prior to this gentleman um, or if it was him you know maybe his dad or his grandfather I, I don't know they took care of him they took care of him um, you know they cleaned them after they were used so just super cool super cool reels and uh, yeah I, I love I love the Garcia brand so you got four of those you got the 402 and then you got three 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 hundreds and a pen 60 so not too bad as far as the reels go now what was on the bottom of this plastic bag um, and if you know that if you know these Garcia Mitchell reels um, their their spools are you know interchangeable um, they have different uh, spool widths I, I guess you would say it to hold different amounts of line and so for the 402 he had one two three four five uh, different spools um, and uh, you know each drag is different um, I think it's just uh, the year that it was designed not necessarily a difference in the drag um, but if you take a look at all three of these there's some similarities but you know this one has I don't wouldn't call that a Phillips but this one has a different um, nut here this one has your standard flathead and then this one has uh, a flathead as well but all three drags are different so um, you got one that's uh, no line but it it breaks down uh, breaks down the operation of the spool on the back this one comes with line Garcia Bonnell um, Oh, for best results, use Garcia Bonnell. Okay. I'm assuming that's a type of line. And then this one is the same thing. For best results, use Garcia Bonnell. But five of these. And these two come with cases. So Mitchell Saltwater. So that's for the big reel. You open these up and you got another spool with line on it. So this is just an amazing find. I cannot believe, again, I, I'll keep saying it, for $7, I, I feel bad. Um, I should have went back and tried to find the guy and maybe gave him some more money. Um, but, yeah, these, he just wanted to get rid of them and, and get them out of his garage. Um, which was pretty much with everything that he had going on that day. So there's five of the large ones. And then there's one, two, three, four of the small ones for the 300 and one still in the box. Look at that. That is pretty cool. Made in France. Number 803S. And it says uh, capacity 150 yards of monofilament for four pound test and a hundred yards for above four top four pound test monofilament so there you go uh, Mitchell 304 and 305 yeah reserve spool small capacity um, I guess I'll open it let's see what it looks like on the inside I I have not tried to open this I didn't want to try and well there you go I didn't want to tear it um, but there it is so maybe this is used I don't know I'm not gonna try and take it out right now but new old stock I don't think they came with line but you know now that look at it that looks like it's P line on there hmm but anyway that's cool with the box yeah so that was super cool so we got five of the large spools for the large reel and one two three four five of the small spools for the three small reels so I mean you're pretty much set I mean you could put you know 10 pound line on here for bass you could put four pound line on here for crappie or bluegill I mean and take one reel and just change these out 
So that's pretty cool, I think. The last couple of things we got was this whole box of uh, Mustad number 3564Z for zinc. Uh, one aught, and there's 50 treble hooks in here. So that looks like it's new old stock. Don't know what I'm going to do with that amount of treble hooks, but it's good to have. And then here you go. The last thing we have um, for that fly rod, or fly reel, I'm sorry, for this Pfluger right here is this box of flies from the fly shop. Look at this. Now, I don't know anything about flies. I don't know if there's something special in here. I don't know if there's a super crazy one in here. But uh, they are definitely used. And some of them look really cool. So if anybody knows anything about these, I don't know if these are store-bought. I don't know if these are handmade. Uh, if they came in this set, I don't know. But that is pretty cool. Again, I don't fly fish. But, well, you know, with all these flies, I might try and learn it. So, but that's the haul. That's the second part of the haul of that uh, massive community garage sale. Seven bucks for all this fishing stuff. Um, I know my, my brother, he, uh, he likes to find fishing stuff as well. Um, I'm assuming when he sees this video, he, <laughs> he's going to like it. Um, you guys let me know what you think. Um... I just wanted to share it with you. I thought it was pretty cool. And, uh, you know, let me know. If you like this video, please uh, give me a like. And if you don't mind considering subscribing, I'd appreciate it. Um, again, I love bringing these videos to you. And I just wanted to get this one out as quickly as possible because it is part two of the last one. That's all I got. Um, we'll catch you on the next one. You guys take care. Thanks for watching.